Cameron did get in trouble with the law. The police showed up a couple nights ago. Cameron went over there and stomped his flower bed and the guy came out yelling and cussing and Cameron reached in his pants like he had a gun. It absolutely could have gotten Cameron killed when he acted like he had a gun. I did record the conversation between the police and Cameron. Police officer said, so you want to act like a grown man? You want to cuss like a grown man? Put your hand in the front of your pants like you have a weapon. I'm not afraid of police. He came at the house charging at me. He then said you were acting like you had a gun. What the f Watch your mouth. I thought he was very disrespectful. It does bother me. You know, I would have got arrested if I was 18. The officer told him that he'll be waiting for him to turn 18. And if he does one thing wrong, that's it. He's just going straight to jail. How were you acting like you had a gun? He was charging at me, trying to fight me. So you were doing what? Like putting your hand like yeah. behind you or something? Mm hmm Like you had a gun? That is a good way to get shot. I don't care. What What do you mean? You don't care if you get shot? I'm not answering that. I care if you get shot. Okay. You're not a case if you get shot. Absolutely. I break my heart. You have a lot of people that love you. you. Yeah, you love me, all right. I do love you, Cameron. We wouldn't be here if I didn't. <clears throat> I rode in to get you help because you're going down the wrong path. And I don't Why? want you just to go down you, the wrong path. Just because you want me to be perfect the way you think is perfect doesn't mean no. I don't want okay. you to be perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect. Yeah, you do. You want me to be the way you want to be, and that's the only way. That's why you kick me out, because I don't act the way you want to. Do you care what kind of life you have going forward? Forget about them, because you're kind of at a point that the decisions you make really affect you, not them. Um, do you care what kind of life you have? Yeah, I do. This is my wife, Robin. Say hi, Robin. She's right there. Hi. Uh, we've raised two boys, and they're not perfect. They didn't go through without a glitch, but I always wanted them to care about their life, you know, about their future. I, I, want, I want you to care. And when I say that I don't want you smoking marijuana, I... I don't want you to not do it because I don't want you to not do it. I want you to not do it because you care enough about yourself to not do it to yourself. But what, like, I don't even know why I'm here. Well, what were you going to ask me? Don't even matter. No, it does matter. If it matters to you, it matters to me. Are you, are you saying, what's the problem with smoking a little weed? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Scientifically, that's, that's not true. A, a colleague of mine, Dr. Hans Breider, uh, from Harvard University, is probably the leading expert in this. And he, he's done a ton of research on this. And this is an opinion, this is actual brain study science, that every time you smoke, you do damage to your brain, significant changes, particularly young brains. And they found abnormalities in the brain that are responsible for reward and motivation. It has a massive effect on working memory. That's the part of your brain that makes it possible to put two or three sentences together, listen to other people, solve problems. It affects your, your cognitive awareness. It alters your judgment, your ability to learn and connect. So it does have an effect. It, it damages your brain. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.